What is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel Descendant OS which is one of the very interesting kind of custom rooms available for many devices and I have installed it on my Poco X3 it's official build and you can install this build on your device if you are looking to install something different something unique on your device it comes with a Google Apps pre-installed so you don't need to install Google Apps separately on your device if you are looking to install this build on your device I tried it I am using it sometime and I did didn't got any kind of major bugs honestly I already made a shots on this that I am using this build on my device and like that it comes with very interesting options which I'm gonna share with you in this video for example first of all we have this kind of settings UI which you get in this latest descendant OS top right at settings we have the accounts to sign in or you can say multiple users option is present here too the one drawback is here the no volte no Wi-Fi icons are present there it comes with the descendant health option where you can see the COVID-19 data in your country so it seems to be different one something different here security related things yes it comes with the latest fingerprint related options face unlock related options even though it comes with some extra options for example lock screen extreme security lock screen minus one page which is not available in other custom rooms so this seems to be a very interesting one even it comes with the app lockers so all the basic options fingerprint face lock pattern lock alongside with the app locker lock screen related customization it has some huge kind of security for you so it is actually good system related things of course languages gestures etc where we have some extra gestures we have the swipe to screenshot option present there system navigation where you can simply use the gesture navigation skip music track power menu all the same gestures options are present there full screen gestures and everything else is is just working perfectly fine here if we talk about the quick settings we have interesting brightness slider and the new weather option which is kind of a hidden feature and something different in descendant os and this feature i don't think so you get in other kind of custom rooms actually i'm using a custom launcher here so that's why i'm not showing you the default launcher which you get here it's just up to you and uh, the Magisk related things which matters a lot of course. I am using the latest Magisk version 21.4 and the safeness status is passing. If, you, if the safeness status is not passing for you, how you can pass that? You simply need to hide the Magisk from settings. If you are still getting some issues like the Magisk API error, safety net API error, I made a video on that one to make sure to check out that to pass the safeness status now on your device. It's just working perfectly fine. You will not face any kind of issues in safety net status. You will be able to use the banking caps on your device also so there might be no issues as the safeness status is passing which matters a lot alongside with that we also need to check out the device is certified or not and yes the device is certified as you can see the device certification has no issues and now the banking apps should definitely work if the safeness status is passing device is certified everything seems to be good and just perfectly fine so the banking apps should work as i previously mentioned to you let me talk about some things in descendant over some customizations the room doesn't focus on any kind of customizations unfortunately the battery backup seems to be decent one as you can see the screen usage since full charge is one hour and one minute let me show the battery graph as you can see three hours ago and the thing is i'm using it on 120 hertz refresh rate as far as i know maybe i'm not sure maybe it's 90 hertz or maybe in 120 hertz maybe 120 hertz which is i'm using it right now the volume panel seems to be a different one also as you can see the volume panel is not like the same volume panel with other custom rooms it has a different kind of volume panel in the center where we also have the option to turn on the vibration or turn off the vibration do not disturb mode and some other options and display related settings where we have these options screen saver quick settings compact layout and it also comes with the thumb ui styles and wallpapers default you get the green color which i honestly didn't like it much so this is why we have chosen the blue color here i like that display where we have the thumb ui and you can enable this option on your device if you want to i will not use this much but yes if you're still looking to install something different here you can use this volume interface extras where uh, we already have enabled this option but now if we disable this this is how you will get the new volume panel and as i previously mentioned to you it doesn't come with many kind of customizations as you can see it doesn't have any kind of separate menu for customizations but customizations are still included with the new and unique kind of ui everything else i have already shown you camera doesn't come with any kind of single camera in my case so you need to install gcam etc on your on your own if you're looking to install this 
it's just working perfectly fine link for this build is in the description install this build on your device and you're good to go you don't need to install any kind of things else thanks for watching goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air